Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to have an interesting experiment. It's about this diesel shop heater or torpedo heater. Guys, this is 250,000 BTU. I've had so many questions about this shop heater, whether it's safe to use or not. Let's get into it right now. Okay, as you can see, it's cold in the shop. It's minus 10. Uh, this is the uh, unit I bought right here. You can see that right there. Carbon monoxide alarm. Guys, this was only 20 bucks. This is strictly an experiment. I went through all the instructions, and you know what? It says, don't put it in your furnace room, don't put it in your garage, don't use it at uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit or less. This is strictly an experiment. I got the batteries in it. I'll put the test on for you there, you can see. And it will start to read at 30 parts per million, and up to, I believe it says in the instructions, 888 parts per million, an alarm will set. And it only reads in between there, and then it will set the alarm off. It says to mount it on the wall. I am going to mount it on the wall. I'm going to put a, uh, uh, my cell phone there with the timer so you can watch it. And of course, after it's been armed, it doesn't show anything right now. But we'll see what happens. I think it's a, it's a valid experiment. Uh, you know, what else are you going to do? But so far, are, are the diesel shop heaters or kerosene shop heaters safe to use? Well, the symptoms that they're explaining is dizziness, lightheadedness, and uh, nausea, you know, at the beginning signs. I've never felt any of that. And I know people that have farms, big shops, they've been using these for years. And it's not like years ago with the diesel fuel that we had many, many years ago, the high sulfur diesel fuel. Today, it's, it's not like that. And I've never noticed anything, but as you can see, I have my electric shop heater here. And what I do is I heat my shop up first, and I'll show you on the timer how far, you know, I go, which is about, I don't know, I think I've done this test before, how long it takes to heat up my shop, and it's usually around, like it's well under 10 minutes, maybe six minutes, something like that. But uh, then I go with the electric. And I've never noticed any symptoms or anything. But I thought this would be a good experiment just to see if it does give a reading or does give a count or something. Now, it's not foolproof. This is strictly an experiment, and I thought we'd try it. Because you guys let me know in the comments before if you've used one of these uh, torpedo heaters or diesel shop heaters and noticed any side effects from them. Because for me, I turn it on. Most of the time, I'm gone anyways. I come back in about 5-10 minutes, it's shut off, I turn my heat on, my electric. But there's a lot of people that strictly use these as their source of heat. So let's do this experiment now, and let's see what the results are. Okay, I got you all set up on the wall there, I got the timer on, and it doesn't look like it's reading anything on this, uh, but no, it doesn't actually read anything when it's uh, in standby. So you just... Press it, then it arms it, and now it's ready to go. So, yeah, I'll just do it again for you. See, now it's ready to go, and then the, the digits will disappear as it goes into just waiting mode. So I'll turn the, uh, the shop heater on, and, uh, well, first of all, I'll turn the timer on. It's not going to take me long to walk back there. There, okay. I'll turn the shop heater on now.
can hear me coming in the room. Yeah, I was waiting outside till I heard it shut off. I'll just turn this off now. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, so it's just over six minutes. Let's stop the clock right now and have a little chat. Okay, so here we are, just over six minutes it was on. And I wasn't in here, I was outside. You can see my glasses all went dark. And guys, I don't see nothing on this. I'll hit the, uh, maybe something will. Guys, nothing happened. It's still at zero. So I don't know what to make of this. What do you guys think? You know, it's still, you know, at zero. And it said that's where you're supposed to mount it. My garage is 14 by 24 and the ceiling's about uh, 12 high. And as you could see, 250,000 BTUs blowing in here at that a rate amount of heat. And what's the thermometer on the wall saying now? Uh, you know, I'm gonna take you over there and show you what it says just to prove to you what was going on here. I'll show you on the wall what the thermometer says. Okay, there she is right there. Looks about 70 degrees, 20 degrees uh, Celsius. Well, what do you guys think? This was supposed to register for sure, starting at 30 parts per million, up to 888 parts per million. The alarm goes on. Nothing happened here. You know, and this is all real time. You know, from the time I showed you the temperature on the wall to now to the whole test, 10 minutes in here, you know, tops. So. I really don't know what to say about this, but to me, this gives me a little bit of peace of mind that this thing ain't picking up nothing. And you would think that it would pick up something. It says, do not put it in your garage. Do not put it at degree at uh, 40 degrees. Well, it's a lot hotter than 40 degrees. It's 70 degrees now. So if this was picking up anything, I'll just show you for last, last time there. It's not showing nothing. And I've never felt any type of conditions of it. So I mean now that I'm in the shop I just go over to the wall here and uh, turn the heater on and away I go. So you know I think that's a good setup that I have. I think it's safe and even if you don't run yours on electric heat my shop is at 70 right now. I bet you I could work in here easily for like a small little job of a half an hour, nice and warm in here, you don't need your jacket on. You know, I think that they are safe. <sighs> yeah, they say don't use them in enclosed spaces without, you know, fresh ventilation and everything else. And you know, I think a lot of that is if your heater is not burning efficiently. If it's smoking or anything like that, forget it, all bets off, you shouldn't be using it in the first place. But I'm, th I'm saying that I think that it's safe. I don't know how good this test is. I'd love to hear any comments down below. What do you think this is a valid test or not a valid test? But I think if there was a lot of poisonous gases in the air, uh, you know what? This little carbon monoxide alarm, it would have gone off and done something, wouldn't you think? Okay, so thanks for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video on testing one of these out and see whether your shop heater is safe in your shop. So thanks for joining me here, and if you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe, come back, and watch some more. Cheers.